So Malin ran, and Picks and Pooks readied his attacks. But he heard the voices of Daedroths. No, not Daedroths. Grimora. Sorry, the scroll was a bit unspecific on that point, but of course, Daedroths belong to Molag Bal. Readying his poisons, Picks and Pooks hoped there was a way he could bash his way to victory. Unfortunately, the scroll yet again gets very muddy here. It reads that Picks and Pooks was immediately killed, but that can't be right. Let me get back to the previous paragraph and see if I can uh, see if I can read it better. Fortunately, Flame Atronox are not hurt by fire spells. The Dramora's usefulness was very limited. Pigs and Pooks healed himself and readied another round of attacks. Unfortunately, he was useless. He readied another flame Atronarch. He could create as many as it was needed. He readied his bow and chose to attack with that. He attacked wildly. One of the Dramora went down. He readied another Atronarch. He readied another round of attacks. He decided to drink a potion or two. The Dramora seemed to never end, but he knew that they must eventually. Despite their bold claims, even Daedra are finite. He readied his bow once more. He seemed to hit his flame Atronach with one of his arrows. That was unfortunate. But the Daedra were weakening. Slowly, but surely, they were weakening. But they were also unweakening themselves through the art of healing the bastards. He knew he could not outdamage their healing with a simple bow. He was able to knock one out. And the other one was falling too. But now it was not. Because fuck healing. He was weakening fast, was our picks and pooks. But he had potions. And he had poisons. And he had more potions. But they were not enough. No, wait, that can't be right. Damn these scrolls. It looks like someone spat all over these pages. Here we go. <laughs> Malin Varen was a dangerous foe. And it's making this very difficult to read. I don't know why that would make it difficult to read, but it is. So fucking deal with it. That dragon shout appeared to be less than useful.
However, the poison would surely be the best thing ever. In addition, of course, to health potions. The other Dremora was weakening. He knew that with some focused assault, he could bring it down. All that was left was Malin Verin. He quickly sought to loot the Daedra. Because he's crazy. That looks like it will hurt. Fortunately, Varen's aim is weak, despite the strength of his spells. Another poison? He was running perilously low now. He missed with his strongest attack. However, Valen was falling. And with a badass slap to the, the face. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Azura spoke to him. And the land faded away. My star has been restored. And Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Azura. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Thank you, Aranea. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. So Azura isn't giving you more visions? No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties, but for the first time I feel... alone. Until next time, Guardian. And that, gentle listeners, is the story of how the Dragonborn came into possession of Azura's Star.